Let's see. Here we are. This is the online uh, course. It's free, open to the public. It's uh, nothing special. It's just my course notes for this simulation course, OPR 9730 at Baruch College. The URL, simprofriedman.net. That's how you get here. And let's see what's over here. Let's just walk around. We'll navigate around the course. Um, this is important. What to expect. You already looked at that. And it tells you a little about the course and what we're going to be doing in the course. Okay, so we've got three different kinds of things we're doing. Okay, three efforts. Uh, one is we're going to learn about sim simulation, specifically discrete event system simulation. We're going to actually take that theory and put it into practice by doing simulations. And then we're going to be doing an independent team uh, term project. Um, you know, each one of these has its own um, subunits, but it's exactly what you would expect. I'll leave it up to you to look at it on your own. Uh, some, some of these are active learning, some are passive learning, project work, some of this could be synchronous. Some of this could be asynchronous. Um, it's, it, it's put together in all different kinds of ways. Okay, now let's take a look at lecture notes. One of those things was lectures, right? Theory of simulation, about simulation. And it matches what you would read in the textbook or in any textbook about discrete event simulation. Um, here we have the major topic. We start out talking about simulation modeling. Um, and then we go into implementing that model, which basically in computer simulation means coding in some way. And um, since it's discrete event simulation, we're going to be um, modeling random phenomena. We're going to, in fact, you might think of it as um, taking Monte Carlo simulation, which you may already know, and uh, inserting it into the discrete event simulation model. These are all the different topics we're going to cover through the semester. Um, coursework, uh, we're gonna be doing those lectures either in class or on your own. And then simulation homeworks, this is where you're going to actually be doing uh, implementing simulation models. And these are descriptions of the systems that you're going to be modeling. Um, the first one we start with actually in class is the checkout stand. It's a very simple queuing system. And as you might think, simple queue is also a simple queuing system. Um, and then we'll move on the multi-teller bank problem for sure. Uh, perhaps the vaccine distribution problem that uh, is something that the last couple of years was very, very relevant. We'll see. Um, the term project. Okay, this is something that I did want to cover. Um, the term project is going to be something that you work on in a team. I would prefer a team of two people, uh, but you, you get to decide on your own you get together with with some other person, and um, uh, you you decide who you're going to be working with. If you if you need to to work with something less than or more than uh, in a group of of two people, let me know. You talk to me about it. Okay, the term project is going to end up being a video presentation and also. Um, a, a hard copy, okay? So you're gonna submit both. Instead of actually doing pres presentations in class, you're going to submit the video and we can play the videos in class or um, that can be you know, part of the asynchronous work where everyone uh, looks at everybody else's um, uh, term projects. Okay. Uh, you'll you'll decide. I'll be happy to talk to you about it. You'll decide on a topic for your term project. And if you click over here, let's see if this still works. 
not bad. Um, you have a document that you can fill out and upload it in Blackboard uh, as the first um, of several deliverables for the term project. And what you need in this is just basically who's on the team and what you're working on, the title. Further description would be nice, but it's not essential. Okay, here are some areas of topics. Uh, you might work on simulation in an application area, like what kind of simulations would we do in, let's say, transportation? Uh, a case analysis. You take one particular system, like maybe look at the MTA as an example of, of transportation or the city bike system. Um, you could do a methodology-oriented uh, project. So in other words, we don't really care what area this is or what we're modeling, but we want to look at how simulation works if we're using, uh, let's say C++ or Python or something very special purpose uh, like clouds and, or arena. Another kind of paper is the literature review um, where instead of doing a simulation, we get to look up um, scholarship, uh, things that have been published about simulation. Of course you wanna, select the topic because you don't want to be so broad that you have thousands and thousands and thousands of papers to look at. And um, here are some, there are some examples of, of possible um, projects. And you can also um, look at previous projects, okay? And so the deliverables for the term project, uh, that declaration form I showed you before, then um, a, a, about a week later, you'll flesh it out to a full description and even an outline of your projected uh, presentation. Uh, then you've got the um, presentation itself, which you make a video uh, and uh, presumably it, you can host it on YouTube. That may be the easiest way and then just submit the URL to me. Um, and then uh, you, another deliverable is assessing everybody else's term projects, okay? There's an assessment form uh, and we could either do this in class or more likely we can do it independently. Uh, and then uh, the hard copy uh, version, which isn't necessarily exactly the same as the video presentation. And finally, a final exam, um, which um, is presumably during final exam period because they want us to do that. Uh, let me show you something back in the lecture notes page. See that every topic has something called test your knowledge. Uh, let's see. And it's, it's a bunch of questions that you should be able to answer after reviewing the uh, material in the topic. Now, I'm, I'm not gonna promise this, but it's, it seems reasonable to me that you should be able to answer these questions. And this would make a very good um, uh, structure for you to use for studying uh, for the final exam later in the semester. Okay. Oh, software, we could, well, you know what, we'll talk about software later, but basically I'm not teaching you, as you know, from looking at the uh, what to expect page, we're not going to learn a particular um, way of coding simulations. Um, we're gonna start off um, coding simulations using Excel, which is actually kind of like shoehorning um, a, a, an application that is not made for simulation into the simulation context. But because I assume everybody already knows Excel uh, and it's interesting to watch uh, things develop in Excel. Um, so we're gonna start out that way. But then once you're doing um, you know, more involved homeworks, um, we're gonna certainly be using Cloudus. That's uh, a cloud-based browser-based 
uh, simulation uh, language. And then on your own, you may be using something else. And we will talk about that in class. We may have already discussed a little bit of that in class.